Okay, so, um, sorry for that little skip in the video there. Um, don't know what happened, I guess my thing ran out. I don't know what happened there. But, alright, so. Um, Nether Redead. Let's actually. Dun, dun. Another instance of us using the song. The song can be helpful at only these points in the game. So you guys may remember, um, in the bazaar that there was a shield there, um, that we could buy. Though, um, you don't have to buy it, because, um, in this area, yeah, we'll be getting in this grave. I believe that- is it this one? The Highland Shield? Cause yeah, that's the Highland Shield that was in the shop. Nope, it's a piece of art. Actually, I think that's in the next grave. Hold up. So I thought it was in this grave. But yeah, I was I was trying to say, um, that little kid, and during the day, he will say, oh, don't do that. Dompey will get mad if you pull out the graves. So, when it's night and he's out, Dompey doesn't give two living craps about what you do. Actually, I think it is this grave that you, um... Yeah, it is. I knew it was one of these graves. And look at that. There is another wall here, um, just like in the, um, in the previous episode with the whole take a tree, and yeah, you couldn't get through there. Um, alright, so, um, now we're done with that, let's head back out. Sorry. Um, let's head back out here, and now, um, right here during night, and we, uh, there's so a few things that we can pick up here at night time before we start heading up Death Mountain. So look, more golden sculptures here at night. Um, we can all we can get all the sculptures that are here. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. I. All right. So let's finish. Get all of. These scotchulas, because I believe that there are five of them in this area. Um, there is one under this tree. by this house um so going on back on to the topic of gold sculptures so in episode one i mentioned um you want to collect golden sculptures because they will be pretty important later on they will um help you out quite a bit there is one there's a couple more there's one on the ladder actually i think there's no six five five or six in this area i just i believe that there's but in this area, um, time doesn't pass, so I don't have to worry. It only really passes in Harrow Field, and another, one other, in a couple of other areas. Um, but, um, in episode one, I was saying how important Golden Tool Shows now were. So, um, yeah, some song is now marked, um, on our song chart. So, because, yeah, I believe there's one, two, three, four, five, six... 12 songs? Okay, so now we have um, 10 um, skull toys, and by the way, that heart piece that I picked up in that grave, it, um, it's now marked on our quest items as well. So, what you want to do uh, once you reach a certain amount, head into this house right here. This is the house Skultula, and there is this just a random guy here. Um, so all of these guys were turned into um, Skultulas. These are these guys will not harm you. So all of these were actual people, and they have been cursed. Once you once you kill a certain amount of um, Skultulas, these guys will turn back into a human form. So the curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. Dun, 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 dun. We get the adults. Well, adults are allowed to carry a lot of money, 
so it can hold up to 200 rupees. Awesome, so now I have a bigger wallet. We can now hold up to 200 instead of nine, the usual 99. That's awesome. So, now we're done with our business in Kakariko. Let's, um, actually, before we head up Death Mountain, let's remember that girl in that girl that said, like, oh, my, we live at the Raw Lawn Ranch, and um, we helped to wake her dad up as we were going through the, um, that, just before we went to meet Princess Zelda. Well, let's, um, let's go talk to her and see how she's doing. These guys, these are still children. Um, they always appear at nighttime. So, yeah, don't worry about trying to kill them if you want to. That's up to you. But um, I personally hate trying to kill them. They're annoying as hell, and I don't like them. So, yeah. Fun. So, I'm missing the musical drum industry. No, there's not. Um, you know what? Sun's on. Because I'm not gonna bother waiting for it to become to become day. And they won't. All right, there we go. Sadly, we entered a little too early, so the where's that horse's legs? Um, <laughs> um, but sadly, the fabulous music in the background isn't playing, but, the song that Malin is singing would be the song in the background, so. Oh, come on, baby! The little horse! Look at her, so cute! Okay, she's adorable. Let's, oh, it's a fairy boy again. I heard the fr- you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Dad came home in a hurry after he found him. <laughs> oh yeah, I had to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Pona. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she isn't. Oh, she's running away. It seems it seems like Pona is afraid of you, fairy boy. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing it together. Well, let's pull out our ocarina. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play this song with that on your that ocarina? Yeah, another song. You've learned the font song. Awesome. All right, so we learned another song and now Pona is following us around and she's, okay, I love Pona. Pona, you're adorable. Um. So, um, I'm not going to get into too much on how or what this song is used for. Obviously, it gets a bone to follow you right now, but later on, it'll become more of use, and I'm not even sure we are going to do that, because like I said, I'm probably not going to wind up trying to 100, completely 100% this, but, um, yeah. <laughs> But I'll do the best of my abilities. What I'm talking about right now, I'm not going to mention it here, but um, it is an optional thing in this game. So, uh, yeah, it is optional. Um, so let's um, we'll discuss that in a later video. But for now, let's move these boxes. And there's a hole here. What do you know? There is a... Um, Heart base. On the topic of heart bases, there is um one heart piece that was actually left in the game 
but it's impossible to get. I'll explain more of it later, but there is an impossible heart piece that you cannot get without glitches. Um... So, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna end this episode off here. In the next episode, we will start to climb up Death Mountain and see what progress can be made there. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.